What's up y'all welcome back to paradise valley this is episode number 20 and in today's episode i'm working on the monte carlo hotel and casino and this is actually in the process or has been converted to a more modern hotel and casino called the park mgm but for this project i want to go ahead and keep the monte carlo name and theme also i really didn't want to create any custom buildings for this build I really wanted to focus on using assets that were already available on the workshop and I came across this one building, this, this Barnes & Noble's bookstore and I felt like it worked perfectly for the look that I was going for and, and really try to capture the feel of how it looks in real life. And I felt like this building really worked well uh, but the Barnes & Noble's was actually a little too big and because of the way the building was oriented I couldn't have two of the same buildings on opposite sides so I had to go in and edit that it also helped to go in and edit and take the Barnes & Noble's logo off so that really freed me up to place different signs on the buildings as well as I did change some of the texture I changed some of the texture from the bricks on the Barnes & Noble and made them kind of a wood texture 
and I think I took the illumination map off. Um, so those should be available in the workshop by the time you're watching this video. The main building I'm using out front is a museum that's on the workshop. This asset is really good and detailed as far as the texture goes. I really thought this was a vanilla asset because of how long it has been on the workshop. The only issue I had with it was the texture. It was a really dark gray and even with the painter mod, um, when changing colors in buildings, you can always darken them, but there's no way of uh, being able to lighten the color and the texture of the buildings. And so I did have to go and customize that building to try to make it lighter. Right here, I'm using the curb prop or the curb networks, which are really good. I uploaded these uh, about a month ago. And one thing when creating these, I really wanted them to be able to be used uh, with the ex existing curb props and really blend in well. I think I did a really good job of that. The only problem I have with the curb networks is for some reason when I zoom out, the LOD turns all gray which is not really a huge issue but I didn't have that issue when I was creating the asset and I really hadn't had the time or the motivation to go in and uh, see what's going on with that. I really don't want to try to fool around with editing and updating networks just because I, I know the issues that it could potentially cause if something doesn't go right and, and the game no longer recognizes the network. So by the time you're watching this video I probably will have finished the next two casinos or at least the next casino and definitely the next casino because I'm already finished or finishing up with that. Really having this break has allowed me to get a couple of weeks ahead as far as recording. The next casino won't be the Mandalay Bay Casino. I know some of y'all were expecting that. I was kind of expecting and planning on it myself. But with my save game breaking and everything, that just really threw a monkey wrench into everything and I decided to go in a different direction. In regards to detailing around the hotel itself, I really wasn't taking inspiration from the actual building. I really was just kind of doing my own thing and trying to make things look nice. I really didn't want to get hung up on trying to recreate the real small details and everything. I, really just wanted to play the game and um, basically go wherever the assets and the buildings took me. You saw earlier in the time lapse, I was using uh, this Posh Mall, which is a vanilla asset. And the Rico settings that come with the mod or the uh, workshop Rico settings are like way too much. Like I think this thing generates more traffic than the space elevator with the Rico settings. So I did have to change those some. I still get a lot of comments on the workshop about Rico settings and uh, why is this high density commercial or why is this a low density residential? This should be this, this should be that. I, I really don't think a lot of people realize that you can change the settings of any building. So you can give Rico settings to any uh, building that you want to or change the included settings. So, I mean, there's really no issue to ever complain about something being Rico or something not being Rico. One thing that I've stopped doing as far as Rico goes is I've stopped including Rico settings for growable buildings or buildings whose lot size are less than four by four. I get a lot of complaints about how growable buildings that have Rico settings function in zones. Apparently they can't be destroyed or zoned over and they don't level up. But I really have absolutely no idea because I don't use zones. So I guess I just have to take their word for it. I try to explain to people that I just make buildings and I really don't have any control over how a mod affects the way a building functions in game. So that's gonna wrap things up for me y'all. For the rest of the episode, I'm creating this pool in front or in the back of the hotel. I'm also adding some more signs and details to the front plaza that faces the strip. So yeah, y'all, please show support by hitting the like button on this video. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Check out the links below to hit me up on social media. And hopefully, I will see y'all in the next episode.
Thank you.